we're on an expedition in the thorny bushes and uh and here's the mud look, look at all this look at all this this rich mud soil just, just fertilizing and uh all these uh mosquitoes well they're, they're the mosquito eggs ain't hatched yet that's why it's so nice to come out here in this time of year so we were talking about oh um fashion well you're like a tree you got the green on top you got kind of whitish blue in the middle down to the earth tones the brown yeah. the khakis you gotta have a neon do rag so like like i have thick hair and i'm trying to get waves j just like just like a, one of those rappers just get waved on my my neon do rag because i i just i i got a thing about that that, that would look pretty cool like yeah, and you see, you see how like I got like I got this white, like a white belt, and sometimes you get a belt from Macy's and and the clips snap, and I'm like, damn it, I I don't I I can't even return this. It's been like more than sixty days. I'm I lost my money. So yeah, just I don't even know what what kind of belts y'all get. This durable, but yeah, I just found this whatever this kind of uh, composite whatever and uh, I could I could bend bend and, and reach and twist in the warehouse all the time just I do this like thousands of times every night because if, if you think about it it costs me about 0.75 of a cent to touch one Amazon package whether that be scanning it or pulling it off the belt or putting it on the belt or just grabbing a whole pallet with like 500 to 800 of those things out of the truck so yeah it all averages out i did the math and so yeah like manual labor is cheap and and you gotta you gotta have like cheap clothes from target i i don't go to a uh, walmart that's like too cheap and sometimes I go to CVS, like, like I got a Fruit of the Loom for $8.50, three, three t-shirt, three cotton, three different colors. It's $8.50. So you could spend as much money or little as you want to, but yeah, if you got the fashion going, like, like I wore this shirt to a wedding, I think. Oh wait, no, actually I wore this one to court. That's the whole reason I bought this. So if you want like formal attire, you, you could wear this anywhere. You could wear it in the bush. It's it's durable fabric. Like I'm out here, like on an expedition, out, out in Virginia, and I'm I'm just like all in the thorny bushes, and and it's it, it don't have any strand pulling, no no rip or tear. But even even if you got like a rip and a tear, you know, that's that's quite all right. It's it's fashionable, sort of. Maybe I'm just broke, but yeah, like I, I, I only, I only keep a couple things in my wardrobe, just, just enough to pack a couple of suitcases if I have to get out somewhere. You ever slept out here? Oh, and not, not this place. Well, actually, yeah, one time, like the, the VRE over here, just on the side of there. And then I saw this rattlesnake and I was like, oh, oh gosh, no, no, please don't. Don't attack me, please. I didn't do anything. So like, yeah, that that was that was an interesting time. But that was back when I was going to like the the Annandale campus. The only reason I had to go there, I, I had to take an art class, like a like art appreciation, art history, whatever, and Picasso and, and like impressionism and stuff. And uh, it was interesting. I, I probably learned more in that class than any other class in community college, except for like some of the radiography stuff. I had to, oh my God, I had to remember so much, like so much anatomy, positioning and, and radiographic technique and, and all this, all this physiology. And oh, it was too much. I had like a s stack of textbooks, one big stack. I don't know what to do with it and they make you they make you buy that like you can't just rent that from from the bookstore it's it's cheaper to buy it anyways it's it's like it's the hercules boots i, I wore i wore this type of thing 
in high school, you know, just because when I'm when I'm out in the bushes and I gotta get my feet wet, like it dries off fast. I used to go in in the storm drains too and go explore in. And uh, I would want my feet to dry off fast so I don't get like blisters, you know, when I get up out of there. It's smart ventilation. Yeah, I used to go in the storm drain. Uh, the, the resource officer just like gave me a slap on the wrist when he saw the video. But that that's like that's all in the past. I don't I don't mind talking about that. I never even got in any kind of trouble, so who cares? Like that that was just like that was eight years ago. Yeah. Wow. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I, I mean we're just we're just uh, out out like in the 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 Virginia bush, the swamp. So we we gotta like dress for the occasion, right? And what do you think, by the way, of this right here, for my allergies? Or is this you know a fashionable thing? I mean, my mask. You know, when I go out and people look at me, they they see this guy with the mask, they think, well, is he working landscaping or what? Well. I, I suffer from allergies a, a slight, like, tiny bit with, with the cardboard dust in the warehouse. And, it, it, like, when the, when the boxes just roll on those metal conveyors and, and all of this, and it, you're touching the boxes and, and cutting the cardboard with the, the pallet knife, and the dust comes in my nose. And I, I don't dig my nose because that's just not very healthy for you. And then it's like if you if you keep opening the scab in your nose and all the dust, all the junk in there, and you're trying to clean it out, uh, it'll just fall out when when it dries up and it crumbles naturally. It just fall out. You don't have to like stick anything in there. It's very it, it, it could potentially be infected, and if 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 worse come to worse, like the infection spread to your sinus and in your brain. And the vessels, they, they go straight to your brain. That's no good. So, like, I sneeze. I sneeze so hard, man. Like, I, I, make, I make a big scene, and it's like a huge panic. I gotta sneeze, I gotta get all the, the, the junk out, and I eat a hot peppers. Like, I put hot sauce on everything, because I gotta get my sinuses pumping. So, like, it doesn't just build up, just like inflammatory, just, uh, debris in my nostril. Maybe I'm nasty, but I, I feel like I have to sneeze real hard sometimes just just to, to get everybody's attention. Hey, I'm sneezing. The, the, the pathogens might go like flying like five meters in front of my face. So like, uh, don't breathe the, the air when you're next to me. Yeah. Thank you.